Looking back over 2013, in my mind, the, the year was dominated by macroeconomic headlines. Eric and I don't obsess about what's going on in Washington or what GDP will be uh, in any one given quarter. Uh, thankfully, investing in mid-caps, um, these are companies that very few people are paying attention to and are, as a result are often mispriced, and so we spend all our time, or most of our time, thinking about and finding uh, those mispriced equities. We're seeing some great opportunity in um, uh, consumer discretionary, uh, in the technology space, um, even in healthcare. Um, sort of on the other end of the spectrum, we're not finding very much interesting in utilities and consumer statements. Um, Mid-caps tend to be those that are acquired, uh, and when you are acquired, typically that's done at a, a great premium. So we've seen the average uh, acquired company share price rise uh, over 30% typically when, when a company is acquired. And the, the types of companies that we invest in, those that have great balance sheets that generate predictable and growing free cash flow with management teams that uh, invest uh, in their own businesses with discipline, those tend to be the types of companies uh, that you would look to, right, if you were uh, going to acquire someone. We are uh, very constructive about uh, the outlook in 2014. We're not big macroeconomic theorists. Um, we think that there's an opportunity maybe for Europe to surprise on the upside. Uh, after having been a drag for so long, um, it'd be nice to see Europe go from a, a negative to a positive. Um, and I also think that maybe in the U.S. here we're not giving enough uh, thought to the wealth effect and what positive impact that may have in 2014. We're looking for a good, good, solid year for merger and acquisition activity. Um, all the, the ingredients are, are right uh, for, for an improvement in M&A. Uh, interest rates are low. Uh, balance sheets of the larger companies are uh, loaded with cash and they're as strong as, as they've been maybe ever. Um, and they're looking to augment the growth. Uh, of, of their own businesses. From a sector perspective, we're finding today, as we did for most of 2013, the greatest opportunities within consumer discretionary. We're finding some great opportunities, mispriced stocks within, uh, within technology um, and also in healthcare. Um, we are having, uh, unfortunately, a very hard time finding attractively priced stocks within consumer staples. Uh, and also uh, within utilities and certain, I would even add, certain sub-segments of the financial sector. There's a, a lack of appreciation for the, the earnings power and the cash flow growth that these companies can generate. And so as a result, you, it's likely that you'll see mid-cap companies mispriced. And except in the very rare cases where the, everything in the market goes up or everything in the market goes down, there are always mispriced stocks and an opportunity to create value for our investors. Most people who don't have mid-caps should be looking at the asset class as a whole, first and foremost. Obviously past performance you know, should not be predictive of, of future performance, but uh, I think you know, looking at these companies, analyzing these companies, I think it's uh, okay or fair for us to say that the characteristics that have allowed these companies to do so well over the last two plus decades are largely in place today. These are companies that regardless of the economy are investing in their own businesses for growth and for innovation. Uh, they have uh, balance sheets that can support that growth and as we learned over the last five, ten years, they have balance sheets that, that can sustain them in periods of economic distress. One of the things that makes investing in mid-cap stocks uh, so appealing uh, and timeless is that there are always companies that are reinvesting in their businesses for growth and are innovating. Uh, companies that whose growth and innovation are, are driving the U.S. economy. And I would expect within the mid-cap space, uh, five years from now, ten years from now, we'll be talking about great growth and innovation, though it may be uh, from different companies or a different sector.